after smashing this jar of golf balls on the floor. I'm going to use them as a basis for a brand new football design. Golf balls are more interesting than I first realized. They have different constructions just like footballs do. I had to simplify my ball a bit to make it viable to hand stitch, but I think the essence of a golf ball is captured. My version has 92 circles, which are connected by 20 of these skeleton triangles. To confirm the size of the panels, Allison made a test ball from just the triangles, which made a pretty interesting ball just by itself. Then I got to work stitching all of the little circles together to create the actual ball. As always, I underestimated how much work this was going to be. It ended up taking a week and a half of my life to get this ball together. There's a reason why footballs aren't constructed like this. It's just a mental way to do it. Not a proper grind, but a satisfying one. I could tell quite early on that the ball was going to be interesting. I love working on projects like this. Projects that have no real set goal other than just to try something and see what happens. I asked a woodworking friend if he could make a scaled up golf tee that I could use to take the first kick. Okay, this is the moment I've been grinding for. <laughs> Yeah, it turns out that kicking a solid piece of wood as hard as you can will hurt your toe. 